shall not, I shall not be moved.
many of you love God more than anything? Amen. More than your house, more than your car. You're those things you don't love, you like. Amen. But we love God and we love people. Amen. We love and praise God.
3, amen, which is, amen, we're going to stand for the reading of the word for those that can stand in the book of Ephesians, the third chapter and the 18th verse, amen, praise God. And the word of the Lord says, I'm going to let wait, make sure everybody have it, Ephesians 3 and 18, if you have it, say amen, amen, amen. may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height. 19, I'll just throw it in for good measure, and to know the love of Christ, yes. which passeth knowledge that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. 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 May be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height. So there are four, we know there are four, there is what you call the fourth dimension. In the, inside the fourth dimension, there are several elements. Then we're going to go over these. The first one is thought, faith, dream, and the spoken word. Thought, faith, dream, and the spoken word. Why do we got to have thought process? Yes. Amen. Isaiah 23, 6 says, Amen. Thou will keep thee in perfect peace. Whose mind is stayed on thee. So, amen. And then uh, Colossians said, Amen. Be, amen. In your mind, amen. let this mind that was in Christ Jesus come. Amen. Be, amen. I don't let this mind that was in Christ Jesus be in you. Amen. Corinthians says that, Amen. And then set your affections, thank you, Holy Ghost, and Colossians, on things above, not on things of this earth. So we set our mind, our thinking processes on things yes. above. Yes. Amen. And let that mind that was in Christ Jesus be in you also in Corinthians. And so we have the mind of Christ. You can do what all things through Christ will strengthen you. But you got to think on these things. Yes. Amen. Think on these things that are good, that are honest, that be any virtue, that be any praise. Think on these things. Amen. amen. Then, amen, we know that we know that Hebrews 11 and 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Amen. Then we know we dream. How many ever dream? Amen. The Bible tells us, amen, tell a dream as a dream. Amen. So if you have a dream, you tell a dream as a dream. Amen. The Bible says, amen, that, that, that he poured his spirit upon all flesh. So all men shall see, shall see, shall, shall dream dreams. The other men shall dream dreams. Right. Amen. Then we have the spoken word. The spoken word is powerful because that's your word of dunamis. You got to speak the word. Right. Power comes out of your mouth. And then Revelation tells us about Jesus when he comes back. He's coming back as a king of kings, Lord of lords. He didn't come back as a sweet little baby like he was in the manger back in the olden days. But he's coming back as king of kings, the lion of Judah, and lord of lords. And out of his mouth, a flaming sword of fire. Hallelujah. In fact, it's a two-edged sword. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And then we know... Amen. The other part of the dimension says we, mankind, we have, first there's mankind, and then we have the spatial, amen, which is where we dwell, amen, and then there's the temporal dealing with dimension of time, and then there's out of time, which is God's time, which is omni-dimensional. Yes. His dwelling place, we know, he goes in and out of time into eternity, in and out of time. Amen. So God is omnipresent at all times. Amen. All time, all he doesn't stay stagnant. Amen. Time. He doesn't, but he moves around. He lives and he moves and he has his being. Amen. Yeah. In us and through us. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. And lastly, we know, amen, because man only mankind is temporal. Amen. Oh, we don't live forever. Only one that lives forever is God. Yes. Amen. And then if we want to live forever in his kingdom, we got to have eternal life yes. through Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. according to John 3, 16. Amen. So we have here number three, the breadth, the length, the depth, and the height. How deep can you go? That matter, you got to talk about that in Sunday school, Dr. And then Shelly, and they talk about that. Amen. About the depth of God's word. Yeah. Yes, we know there's a higher height and there's deeper depths in God. Yeah. Amen. And how wide is the Lord? How wide is his breath? The breath wings, amen, of, of, of even the kingdom of God. How wide did God tell me, uh, Moses, I mean, Noah to build the boat? Mm -hmm. Amen. What is the breath? Amen. Then he said, in the length. How, how long did he say make the boat? Oh, Amen. And what is be the height or the cubits? 
how high do you want them to build? Amen. The, 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 the height, the width, and the length. Amen. And then the, amen, the breadth. Amen. So all these, but these are pertaining to, in the 18th verse, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth, what is the length, yes. and the depth, how, how, how deep is your love for God, yes. and the height of God. Yes. Amen. How deep is your love for God? How, amen. We're talking oh, about the fourth dimension. Amen. So I want you to come with me, amen, as we go further, amen, in the book of John. And maybe we're going to go next to the book of John. Well, we know that there are three ex existence, amen, that uh, there are three dimensions, rather, that exist. First one is the one dimension. And the one dimension, I like that one because it deals with someone you know from history named Albert Einstein. Okay. Albert Einstein was a man, amen, that could not speak as a child, amen. And only then when his mother gave him an instrument to play, violin, piano, and several other ones, then she find his genius. All of a sudden, he awakened like out of a sleep. And, Hi, mama, can I have something to eat? <laughs> All of a sudden, he can speak. Amen. But he thought he discovered for us, amen, the theory of general relativity. Right. Amen. But he came from the one dimension. He said, this is where we have everything that exists, that coexists, is the one dimension. Dimension, amen? Right, right. amen. Through general relativity, amen. How things exist, amen. But then we go deeper than that. Einstein had the tap, he was getting there, amen. But we took it further, amen. There's also three spatial dimensions, and these were, as we talked about, were defined as the length, width, the, the length, the width, the depth, and the height of this what we know as a physical world, amen. What we can see, touch, hear, taste in this cosmic world, right. amen. We know that on this world, on this plane, the Bible tells us, amen, that the enemy, the D devil, is the ruler and the principality of this world. Yes. And then he has uh, uh, taken charge, or God allowed him to take charge. He don't have charge of his own, but God, unless God willed it, amen? amen? Just like God said, you can touch his body, but don't touch his soul in the book oh, of Job. Amen. And he only has, he can only go so far that God allows him to go. And then we have, amen, which is what we know as the fourth dimension. Amen, and that's what we're about to tap into today, the fourth dimension. We do know that the fourth dimension by reasoning is where Jesus comes and goes in and out of, Amen. How do we know that's true? And then we're going to go to some scriptures. Let's go over to the book of John. St. John, St. John, that is, not I, John, but St. John, the 10th chapter. Mm -hmm. And St. John, the 10th chapter. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm so glad to be studying this right now. And I found so much information about science, and y'all know I love to talk about science, but I cannot go over that with y'all. Y'all say, stay your lanes here. This is the pulpit. Not the study, not the classroom, just the pulpit. Amen. So here we go in St. John 10 and 9. Amen. We're going to read from the 9th verse down to the 11th verse. It says, I am the door. Right off the jump, Jesus tells us, I am the door. Now, that, I'll let that sink in for a minute. I am the door. When Jesus, I mean, when Moses came to God, or Yahweh, he said, who should I say sent me? He said, tell him, tell them that I am that I am. Yes. Simply, I am. And we think it was that uh, that rap singer, Keon West, that said he's going to make a cologne, call it I am. Because after all, he thinks of, he thought of himself as a little demigod. <laughs> he thought of himself as a god. Right. Amen. But how do you know that there is only the god? Okay. The god. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. There's no demigods, just the God. Yes. Amen. So Jesus says, I am the door. And matter of fact, when the, when the, when the, uh, the Roman soldiers came looking to Jesus to crucify him, mm -hmm. he was in the Garden of Gethsemane. They said, where is Jesus? And he said, I am. I am he. He just simply said, I am. And they fell back. <laughs> they only didn't say his name. I am. So I am is one of his redemptive names. And then he says here further than I am, I am the door. Yes. So there is the power of a spoken word, which is part of the first dimension that we talked about. The I am the door. He said the president, I am. Yes. Now will be, not trying to be, I am. Yes. Amen. So when it comes to all that he possesses, he is, because he is I 
am. I am the door. I possess that, meaning I have power over that. I control that. I can go through that. I can manipulate it. I am the door. Hallelujah. So he can become the door. He can go right through the door. He is the door. Hallelujah. So I am the door. There's nothing that holds it back. If you read the scripture, it finds out that they had the door shut, which means in our turn, they had the door locked. Bolted and shut, could nobody enter in or out. But you say, ain't nothing holding me back. I'm the door. You know what I'm saying? I made the mat lock. I made whatever lock me out the door. <laughs> Amen. Master lock or what have you. And it's, I am the door. And then by me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. If any man enter in, if you come into and man, sup with Jesus, hey, he said, I'll come in and sup with you. Open up your heart because I am the door. If you say yes to me, yes to Jesus, he will come in and sup with you because he is the door. And he, sa he said he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pastor. He comes to us. Now, we have the power and ability to be confident wherever we are, wherever we go. Amen. We have the kingdom of God that goes with us everywhere we go, everywhere we be. The kingdom of God, because you said he lives within us, so we have the great I am, the door on the inside. Do y'all feel this? Hallelujah. We have the great I am, the door on the inside. So I'm confident wherever I go, wherever I be, things are happening for me. Things are working in my behalf. Amen. The, the lines are, like, are, falling, are falling in straight lines of straightness for me because I have, I am the door on the inside. Yes, he yes. said they shall go in and out and find pasture, find a pleasant place. Amen. A safe place. A safe haven, as you will. And a place to eat as sheep will. And on a pasture that's a plain that's good to eat. And that for saints of us, and that whatever is, a, is, is what your pleasure is, and that in the spirit realm. Amen. If you're hungry, you have food to eat. If you're thirsty, you have water to drink. And if you need clothes, he'll give you clothes to wear. Whatever your need is, he'll supply it because he is in us. Amen. Because we have the great I am on the inside. Yes, we do. Hallelujah. And then he says, the thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Yahweh, Jesus said, that the door, I am the door, said, I am come that they might have what? Life. And have it when more abundantly. So it didn't give a time speculation. It just said you'll have it more abundantly. Amen. If you need peace of mind, you have that and more abundantly. Yeah. If you need money, you have that and more abundantly. Yeah. And then if you need clothes, you need you have that and more abundantly. Yeah. Whatever education, whatever it is, you have that and more abundantly. Whatever it is that you need. Amen. A doctor. Amen. For healing, you have that and much more abundantly. Whatever your need is. Hallelujah. If you need discipline, you have that and much more abundantly. If you need joy, you have that and much more abundantly. If you need grace, whatever it is, you have that and much more abundantly. It's whatever you, whatever you need. Hallelujah. You have that and much more abundantly. And then in that same, well, let's go to the 20th chapter of that book. Amen. The 20th chapter. And we're talking about the fourth dimension. What operations do we have in the fourth dimension? They're limitless. We have limitless uh, uh, blessings, limitless whatever the need is. There's no cap on what God has. Right. He doesn't run out of joy. Amen. He doesn't run out of love. Amen. He doesn't run out of peace. Amen. Whatever you need, God has that in abundance. Glory Amen. to God. So 20 and 19, hallelujah, and it says in his holy word, then, then the same day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut, when the doors were what? Shut. Shut. All right, now, I know we find that Jesus is the door, but this says the door was shut, so how in the world is Jesus going to get in? It says, he said, the doors were shut, hallelujah, where the disciples were assembled. For fear of the Jews came Jesus and stood in the midst and said unto them, peace be unto you. Jesus. And it says, and when he had so said, he showed unto them his hands and his side. Then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord. Now, nobody opened, don't say no word in scripture that nobody opened the door. Or anybody opened the door, rather. Nobody had opened the door. You don't need to open the door for Jesus, because why? He is the door. Hallelujah. He's the way, the truth, and the light. Hallelujah. He's the lily of the valley. He's the light. Yeah, he's the bright and morning star. So he don't need nobody to give him direction. Hallelujah. He says here, hallelujah, that they were happy. Hallelujah, they were glad when they found out that it was Jesus. 
Hallelujah. And so then said Jesus to them again, Peace be unto you, as my Father has sent me, even send I you. Glory to God. Let's go down to, amen, the 24th verse. Now, he met the other disciples. There was some other, one other disciple that was missing from the prayer group at that time because this was after Jesus had died and resurrected from the grave and, and some of them were afraid when Jesus had, had, had died because they thought that, well, is this miracle going to come to pass, his prophecy, where he said he's going to resurrect from the dead on the third day? Is it really going to be true? Is it really going to happen? They kind of have faith, kind of like how we do. You, know, you believe in God for something, you kind of waver sometimes. Yeah. That's how they were. Amen. But they, it was extreme. It was it was extreme at that time because it was like they felt their life was in jeopardy. And so here it is, the 24th verse. But Thomas, here's the main doubt one. They even call his nickname Doubting Thomas. Mm -hmm. It says, but Thomas, one of the 12, called Didymus. Mm -hmm. So that's his other name. Was not with them when Jesus came. And so when he showed up, it says that the other disciples therefore said unto him, We have seen the Lord. Mm -hmm. But he said unto them, Except I shall see in his hand the print mm -hmm. of his nails, and put my finger in the print of the nails, and thrust my hand into his side, I will not believe. He said, I'm not going to believe. What should I believe? You know, I mean, come on, that's what he said, but mm -mm. I don't even see Jesus. Where he at? Where, where is Jesus? I don't see Jesus. Where, where is Jesus? Right. He asked everybody, where is Jesus? And here comes Jesus, right through the door. Yeah. Or through the wall. There, 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 there's no extreme, I mean, there's no, no blocking Jesus. He has no, no, no limitations okay. here. Okay. Amen. And it says, and after eight days, mm -hmm. again, his disciples were, were within, and Thomas with them, then came Jesus, the doors being shut. Mm -hmm. Again, the doors were shut and stood in the midst and said, peace be unto you. Now, they knew that was Jesus. Hallelujah. Peace be unto you. And the same reply, and peace be what? Multiplied. Multiplied. Amen. So they said, peace be unto you. And then said he to Thomas. He went straight to, G to Thomas. He knew Thomas was doubting. And he said, he said, reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands. And reach, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side. And be not faithless. He went straight for the struggle. He knew that Thomas was doubting him. But believing. He said, I want you, and I need you to believe, Thomas. He said, I, had, I know that you have problems believing, but which door did you open for me, by the way, Thomas? Okay, oh, shut up. Think about that miracle that you have needed right now. Right. Think about that, that thing that you've been praying for. Yeah. That problem that you've been praying about. Yeah. And that, that blessing you've been waiting on. It's on the way. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Jesus ain't got to come through no door. Yeah. And that he is the door. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Just stand on faith and confess it. Yeah. Remember, the first one we talked about was the spoken word. Speak the word of faith. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. I can have and shall have whatsoever I say. To what? My faith. Is it according to your faith? No, it's according to my faith. And then he said the word of God. So whatever you believe in your word of faith. And if it lines up according to 1 John 5 and 14, according to the perfect will of God. Again, as I reiterate, I can't pray for nobody's husband to be mine. God ain't even hearing that prayer. It's bouncing off the ceiling. If it ain't lined up to the word of God, God ain't gonna grant you that. You gotta line up to the word of God. Hallelujah. And only the word of God. Hallelujah. Shalom Shaita. And then he says over here, glory to God. And so it said, and then, so Jesus came. He, and after that, Peter said, and then, I mean Thomas said, and then I'm gonna go to 27. Then said he to Thomas, reach hither. We read that. Go down to the 28. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my God. He felt ashamed because he knew how he was doing Jesus. He knew he was doubting. And then and Jesus showed him all the time that he was the son. Hallelujah, the son of God. We turn into the book of Mark. Amen. He is the son of God, the son of the living God, Yahweh. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. A little miracle worker right on the inside. Hallelujah. We just got to tap into him. Hallelujah. Amen. The 11th verse. And I'm sorry, my God is a big God. He ain't little at all. Amen. 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 I'm 
serve a great big God. 11 and 12. Matthew 11 and 12. Mark, Mark, Mark I'm sorry. Mark 11 and 12. It is hot. Thank you, God. We're going to start turning that heat down. Just a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of extra. Yeah, yeah. Amen. <laughs> See, that's why I waited a long time before I turned that heat on. Amen. Amen. 11 and 12. Amen. 12 and 14. We'll have to get a consensus today. Amen. 12 says, if you have it, say amen. 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 And seeing a fig tree afar off, having leaves, he came, if happily he might find anything thereon. And then, and when he came to it, he found nothing. Sorry? Mark 11 and 12. Mark 11, yeah, you know. I'm at Mark 11 and 13 now. Yeah, I read the 12, and now I'm on the 13. Amen. It says, and I'll reread it again on the 13. And seeing a fig tree afar off, mm -hmm. having leaves, he came, if happily he might find anything thereon. And when he had came to it, he found nothing but leaves. Yeah. For the time of figs was not yet. Yeah. And yeah. Jesus answered and said unto it, No man eat fruit of thee hereafter forever. And his disciples heard it. Now he used the power of the what kind of word? Spoken. The spoken word. Fourth dimension is all about speaking. What's in your mouth? Not what's in your wallet. <laughs> what's in your mouth? Hey, what have you been saying lately? I'm always broke. Nothing seems to ever get better. I'm always going through this. It's always something. <laughs> you are not always broke. I'm always blessed. I can't go down for going up. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. Amen. And we serve a what kind of God? A great big God. He always meets our needs. Hallelujah. He always supplies all our needs. According to the glory glorified by Jesus, we are the head and not the tail. And I don't care who's in office. We serve a great big God. about Elijah. Mm -hmm. And they talked about him calling him bald 
did, didn't he? And what happened? Two what? What type of bears? I think the Bible says they were she bears. And it's the reason why God allowed us to know the word of God specifically that they were she bears because the feminine animals, according to the word of God, is one of the worst of either type of animal. They ain't going to play. They will eat the feed they cook. So it, it, you're going down today, uh-huh. <laughs> so the two sheep bears killed all those kids that were laughing and talking about that prophet. And so we know that God fights for the what? What do the Bible say? Hey, man, touch not my prophet, do my, touch not my anointed, and do my prophets no harm. It's in there. Praise God. So now I'm going to the word. Jesus had used the power of the spoken word. Amen. And, 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 you know, Elijah, he says those she bears out, by the way. But you got to use your power of your mouth. If you don't use the power of your mouth, you won't use it. Right. And then you'll never know that you have it. Right. Amen. You have greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. Yes. Amen. But if you don't use it, yes. amen, it just lies there dormant. Yes. It's like I could have supplied, and then when you get to heaven, you say, Lord, so just like that story we read about the man that was on the ship. Stayed in his cabin. They had filet mignon, lobster, a king crab, every type of delicious food you could have wanted to eat. And then at the end of the, of the tour of the boat, whatever sailing trip he was on, when he comes out, he sees the captain. He said, Are you a new customer? I didn't meet you. He said, Yeah, I was in my cabin. Why did you come out? I, I didn't know my ticket included that. He said, Once you have the ticket, where's the ticket? You have everything. <laughs> You're entitled to all the power, the benefits, and so forth and so forth. But if you don't come in, hallelujah, you got to come into the power. You got to come into your rightfulness. Amen. Come into your inheritance yes. in God. Hallelujah. The fourth dimension. So going on, it's a lot to say. I got to go for it. Amen. So Jesus cursed the fig tree. The, peak, the, the disciples saw that he cursed it. He said, you'll never bear fruit on you again. And, and then they, they, when they came back, let's go over to the 20th verse. Drop down to the 20th verse, 20 through 24. It says that in the morning as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the what? Root. root. He cursed it to the root. Amen. When I curse cancer or any other disease, I curse it at the root. All right. Amen. And, it's a, and Peter calling to remembrance said unto the master, Behold, the fig tree which thou cursed is withered away. And Jesus answering said unto him, have faith in God. Now, with this lesson that I just showed you with the fig tree is a have faith in God type of lesson. It's not because I just want to show you that they're showing my muscles how, how, how powerful I am. I want you to do the same thing. All right. Amen. Hallelujah. And then go on to the 23rd verse. It says, For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall what believe. So when you read certain scriptures that you pray for concerning your health, your wealth, your yes. prosperity, your ch your children, your family, say, Lord, I believe that scripture. And then while you read it, I believe it. And then after that, you say, I receive it. Yes. Believe those yes. things which he saith shall come to pass. Yes. He shall what? Have. So whatever I believe for my faith, I have. I, the scripture says, I shall have whatsoever he saith. Oh, yes. glory to God. You ought to be shouting here right now. Yes. Amen. Yes. Therefore, 24 says, therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire. Wait, oh, right. long, long time ago, remember that message, Dr. Tanya. Long time ago, I preached a message about desire. Remember that? I think we might have been on Addison at that time. And I talked about, what is your desire? You got to see it in your mind. See it by faith. Yes. I think I'm talking about this dress at that time. Dress, I desire. <laughs> Use your faith, oh, y'all. Oh, my bitch, a perfume. <laughs> Amen. A perfume, we say. Amen. But speaking by faith, I mean, what things soever he desire yes. when he pray. Hallelujah. Oh, shout out about here. Believe. There it is. Yes. Believe and receive. Believe that he receive them. In other words, but I put it in another context. Believe and receive. Yes. Amen. That ye might receive them, ye shall have what? them. Hallelujah. But you got to believe and receive. Mm -hmm. I always say, I believe I receive. 
If a prophecy comes to me that's in line with the will of God, which is according to the word of God that Dr. Dixon spoke over my life, and a, and a prophecy that God assigned to my life, I'll say yes, affirmative, I believe, and I receive. Yes. Now, if it's a, 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 a jack leg prophecy that you spoke out of, you, you had a post scientist last night, and some hard, old, stale, oh, oh, what do you call that? Oh, leftover spaghetti with some grape soda, and you try to prophesy to me, I ain't going to say yes to that, and I ain't going to say I believe and receive. <laughs> See, return to sender. <laughs> like Elvis said, return to sender. Uh -huh. was like, I only receive what the word, hallelujah, I only receive what the word of God says. Hallelujah. And, it's, and when ye stand praying, forgive me, but we know that. Let's keep going. Hallelujah. Amen. So we know we got to use the power of the spoken word. Amen. Then we got to understand and believe and know in our mind of what stands we have. Amen. We know that we are somebody in God. We're, we're little Christ in the earth. Amen. Praise God. We're little Christ in the earth. Let's go back to Ephesians. Amen. No, we, oh, I'm not going to go over that again. Amen. We, we did that. We went there. Now I want to talk to you about a certain character in this study. How many ever heard of Nimrod? The Bible lets us know that Nimrod was a mighty hunter. And why am I bringing him up in the fourth dimension? Because he exemplified some traits of faith. He exemplified positive affirmations. He exemplified a can-do spirit. Mm -hmm. Now, was Brother Nimrod saved? No. Neither was, I don't know if Mr. Coles, I don't know if he was saved. But that man was blessed, profoundly blessed. Yes, and that, you know, there's a lot of millionaires and billionaires that are not saved, but they're using the, the tools of how to get rich, which, is, which comes straight from the word of God. Faith, yes. belief, and the spoken word. Where it's like, yes. I can do this, or we can do this. Uh, you know, I think you don't have your payment coming till the next month. Well, we still can do this. We're going to have money by faith. Amen. Everything that so far that God told me that we're going to do as a church, that I said we're going to do, have we done it? Yeah. Everything that Pastor Dixon, when she was living and here at Agape residing as pastor, she said, let's do it. Did, did, did we do it? We did. Yeah. So it starts with your word of faith. Faith, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Okay. So we have to speak those words that be not as though they were. Amen. Never I done that. Now let me go to the word. I'm going to take us to, amen, Genesis 10. Amen, I'm sorry. I go to the New Testament, but we're going to actually Genesis, the 10th chapter, where this starts. Genesis 10 and 8. So we got to start possessing the land. Possessing what God has given us. Take it, take it, take it. Right. Like your hand reaches out and says, that's mine, I'll take that. Yeah. Thank you. Take, take what God has given you by faith. 10 and 8 through 12 verse. And it says, And Cush begat Nimrod, and he began to be a mighty one in the earth. Mm -hmm. He was a mighty hunter mm -hmm. before the Lord. Where, now, from what I did a study with Dr. Dixon, you know Dr. Dixon studies deep. Right. <laughs> he was a man that hunted for men's soul. Yes, so we know that. So therefore, he was kind of, kind of contrary to God. Mm -hmm. Anybody that's unhuman is not a God. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, just want to let you know that. Check. <laughs> okay. But yet still he used the tools. It says that so he was a mighty hunter and, and before the Lord. I mean, when it says that word before the Lord, not it's not saying just that he lived, but he was always constantly against God. He said, How can you use the tools? Because the tools still work. Uh, as a, a former member, you might remember Sean. She's gone out to be with the Lord. She always stated affirmatively and confirmatively and confidently, whether she was in a bachelor's state or not, she knows she had to give a prophecy. Mm -hmm. So am I wrong? Can you prophesy if you bachelor? Anybody know that? Do you know that? Did you prophesy if you bachelor? Do you know that? A prophet is a prophet. A prophet is a prophet. Did you born a prophet? You're not, well, you don't go to school to be a prophet. Even though we have schools of the prophets, People go to refine their gift, but you are actually put that a prophet, a prophet, a true prophet, is born a prophet. Right. And so what happened was, 
she told this man, if you don't stop doing such and such, God said you're going to die tomorrow. Why did he drop down dead the next day, as she said? Because she's a true prophet. A prophetess. I'm not going to, you know, have a little scuffle about nobody talking about whether a woman should be called prophet or prophetess. They're both. They use both simultaneously in the Bible for women. Okay. I can talk about Buddha was a prophetess. I can talk about, you know, this one and that one. There's a lot of women in the Bible that were prophets. But go on, let's stay with the matter of the, of the, of the, the main message here. So go on, so what happened, he had gifts, but he did not use them for God. That's why I said you be backslidden. And I met some back, some preachers that were backslidden. And they lay hands on you, you will get healed. Evangelists, you get healed. But I'm not going to tell you what they did last night and who they did it with. But you're going to still get healed. That's why I said people need to be saved. You can go to hell after you cast out so many demons, pray for people to get healed, and prophesy or prophesy, and still go to hell. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Dr. Dixon taught us that good. And we ran with some of the best preachers that taught us that as well. That told us that. We didn't go through this stuff. But they told us that and we took their word at it. And saw it in, in, in certain people that we know, like I told you that one sister. Amen. So stay home. <laughs> we don't want to go to hell from the church. Well, we go to hell from the church. I don't care what kind of gift you got. You know what I'm saying? All right. It ain't worth it. But this is what happened to Nimrod. He was one of them bachelor and brothers. And then, well, he couldn't be bachelor unless he was first saved. I don't know what the Bible didn't say he was first a believer. So let's go on. So Cush began, Nimrod, he began to be a mighty one in the earth. And he, and before, it was because he was against the Lord. Wherefore, it is said, even as Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord, and the beginning of his kingdom was Babel. Anybody heard of Tower of Babel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's his, his, these are all his kingdoms I'm about to read. And Erech, and Akkad, and Kalina, in the land of Sharna. Yeah. You might hear about the word Sharna in some of the news today. Mm -hmm. Amen. Going on. Out of that land went forth, went, that went forth was Asher, and built at Nineveh. Now these are some of his places that he built. All of these are his cities. Asher, he built it. Also Nineveh, he named the whole city after him. <laughs> he did, that man, I don't know if he was called that confident, but he named it after himself. I already spoke the word. He said, what you going to build? I'm going to call the city after myself. Amen. Well, that's Nineveh. But he did name the city after him, too, Nimrod, if, if you do the complete study. And the city of Rehoboth and Kala. And Rezin, between Nineveh and Kala, the same is a great city. And Mizram begat Ludim and Anaim and Lebim, Labadim, Lahabim, and Naphtuhim. Now, look at that word Naphtuhim, or that name rather. Mm -hmm. That is so close to the uh, Nephilim. Mm -hmm. Guess how tall Nimrod was? <coughs> 7.5. Mm -hmm. That's kind of extreme tall. Uh, his arms, they, I, 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 didn't do, I didn't write down the most, I didn't have time, but his arms were so long, they were like, uh, I, can't, I can't remember the, 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 the length of it right now, but he had extreme, he was, a, he was like a giant. Okay, going on, so kind of like our basketball stars. So going on, and it says, going past the names, uh, and Parushium and Kalashurim, and out of whom came Philistium, the Philistines. Sounds like that word. Mm -hmm. Let you know that's where the giants came from again. Mm -hmm. Part of the family of the Nephilim. Yeah. Going on. Yeah. See there? And Cathorium and Canaan begat Sidon, his firstborn, and Heth. And the Jebusite and the Amorite and the Gergeshite. Ger These are all the enemies of God. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yes. Because I told you that he was one that was against God as well. Now let's go forward. Let's go down to, amen, 11 chapter, amen. And uh, I'm going to give you some notes beside of the reading. Um, first, we must figure out who Numerai was. He was the great-grandson of Noah and the grandson of Ham, the son of Cush. He grew into a mighty warrior on the earth. He was also a mighty hunter before the Lord, which means he was against the Lord. Of course, you know, he built, he built the Tower of Babel, and he was a great king. He was a conquering warrior meaning he was unbeatable, and he reigned as a tyrant or a dictator. Uh -huh. He also wore a crown. And so this man was no joke. You wouldn't want to see him in a, in a dark alley at 12 midnight. <laughs> so Nimrod, going over here to the 11th chapter, and then verses 1 through 9. 
11th chapter reads, and the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. Yes. So power of the fourth dimension, if you're going to get with any partner, anybody going to pray with you, you have to pray on one accord. Yes. Otherwise, you're just spinning your wheels. Well, let's say that Nolan wants a red car, and you pray for her to get a blue car. Which one is she going to get? Nothing. you got to both agree on the same thing, otherwise it's not going to work. Okay, let's just agree on blue car, okay? Right? Right? Yes. I can hear you. Spoken word. I can hear you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And so here it is. And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. Oh, and the criteria number two, it has to be according to the what? Will of God. Now, now, if you were praying for a car to hurt somebody, is that going to give that answer that prayer? No. No. So it has to be according to the will of God. That's the other criteria. Going on. So, and it came to pass, and then as they journeyed from the east, that they found a plain, like that pasture we were talking about, in the land of Shinar. There it is again, Shinar. And they dwelt there. That's the end time word, part of eschatology teaching right there. And they said one to another, go to let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone and slime had they for mortar. Yeah. Okay, now listen here before I go on. That is one major piece of the puzzle of how man was able to go as far as they did. I mean, it's all known in history on all nationalities on how far there was a tower, once called a Tower of Babel, that went to the sky. Because it, but God wants mankind to know, he left it as a memorial to let people know as a teaching here in the Word of God, if you can come together, if you can agree on one accord, if you can be of one voice, and use the power of the what spoken word. It can happen. It can really happen. Yeah. But if you do not work together on one accord with one mind praying together in faith, it won't. It'll just be like uh, words bouncing off the ceiling. Lord, send more people. No, do not send more people. Lord, uh, let us go to the store. No, we do not want to go to the store. Lord, we want, you know, make up your mind. You got to pray on one accord. And, so, and there's a lot more important things. I'm just babbling. Where do we get the word babble from? Tower of Babel. I'm just babbling on that piece. Because you got to pray on a fixed mindset. Yeah. Now, now go ahead. And they said, go to us. Let us uh, build a city. Okay, and let us name. And let us make a name. And let us. Kind of like how God said, and let us make man. Yeah. So they're copying after the similitude of what God told us in the book of Genesis, in the first or second, the third chapter, let us make man in our image. So we're learning how to speak like who? God. And you know what? The angels wouldn't have known that because the angels are with God all the time. And now what are the Nephilim? The Nephilim, now this is good teaching material, but I can say so myself. The angels, when they left their first estate, they taught those same laws into the law, into the the the, the 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 kingdom of mankind. What you see in here is one of the laws of God's kind being taught among the mankind. And let us, and let us. Yes. That's a law from God's kingdom. Man has now adopted that law that were taught by the Nephilim. Y'all know that's a real teaching, right? Okay, we're going to have to go there one day. <laughs> so, probably, if you all have to come on one Wednesday night, because that always, I'll be here for myself, I'll be here by myself a long time teaching on the Nephilim. Amen. I, I taught that at uh, one of my brother's churches. Amen. About the Nephilim. So, let's go on. And they said, go to let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven. Mm -hmm. And let us make us a name. So that's talking about pride. Me want to be seen. Who also wanted to be seen and had the spirit of pride that got kicked out of heaven? Uh -huh. Same, same address, same back channel, same back time, same back spirit. Because <laughs> make us a name. We want to be somebody. Make us a name. Unless we be scattered. Uh huh. Now, think about what was scattered. Jesus, when he prayed for that demoni demoniac, 
the man had, that was possessed with all those demons, he was about to cast them out because he had the power of the spoken word. And before Jesus could point his finger and say, go, they said, no, please, Jesus, don't, don't cast us into the um, uh, uh, air because then we'll be what? Scattered. Cast us into the swine. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And then we'll you know, run off and that's where they ran into the sea. So here it is, the same spirit. Amen. Lest we be scattered abroad upon, upon the... See, demons have to inhabit something. That is the re real reason why people cannot afford a backslide. If you are considered a backslider, what's going to happen? The devil comes back into the house, look to see if it's been swept, if it's been garnished, yeah. and if it's still being used. If ain't no Holy Ghost in there, ain't no fire going on in there. Yes. The devil said, come on, boys. You bring a seven more words of what y'all had before. Yes. Party up here, hey. And so that's why we got to, and then stay filled, filled up with the word, filled up with the spirit of God. Yes. And instead of a pray, praise is what I do. Yes. And then because we want to stay clean and pure of God's power, amen. Praise God. We don't want to bring the devil back in his hands. And so Hallelujah. here we go. Hallelujah. So he said, let me be scattered from upon the face of the whole earth. I threw my preacher on. He popped the tap in. He said, the Lord came down. Hallelujah. And he said, the Lord came down. Where else did he come down? And then in the time of Eden, Hallelujah. Yes. when Adam and Eve, they got uh, combobulated because how the devil came and told Eve, did he not say that you be as gods? You know, and I was trying to put the word against them, but out of order, and then he wasn't speaking it as the scripture said, right. but he twisted it, so she took it, it was a word with error, and then she gave it to her husband, so they were not unpure or impure, and they had to be kicked out of heaven, but Jesus also came down, the Bible says he, even his voice, Walk to the cool of the day. Yes, oh, thank you, God. It says the Lord came down to see the city and the tower. God came down. Have any of you all seen those clouds in the sky that look like God? Looking on mankind? It's all over YouTube. God is actually coming down. He's looking on earth. He's saying, I'm about to judge this earth. He did it before. Do it right before he just stopped the door. Hi, I don't know whole shot. So just get rapture ready. Get rapture ready. He can come any time. He said, and the Lord came down to see the sea. Yes, he did. And the tower which the children of men built. Hi, I do shot. A building. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is what? One. One. That's a power. You can even say that's a law. If you come together as one, nothing will be impossible. That's it, right? Amen. We might be small, but we mighty in God. Oh, Hallelujah. Yes, we are. Hallelujah. We can do great exploits for God yes. and in yes. God. Yes. And, that, and, the Lord, and the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they all have one language. That fourth dimension they were operating in. The fourth dimension. If I could just get four of us. Since we're talking about the four to agree with me in prayer. Yes. Come on now. I know we got more than four people here. And we're yes. going to decree some things. Is that all right? Declare yes. some things. And watch God. We're going to decree over people that need it. God to take away ailments from their body. We're going to decree yes. and declare. Amen. Yes. This is our opportunity, our time of our increase. Yes. Amen. We take it back back what the devil already stole from us. Yes. It's our time in God. Yes. Amen. Yes. People agree. That's the fourth dimension. And they all. And they have all one language, and this they began to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them. Nothing. Okay, not even the groceries coming late? Nothing. Nothing. Not even um, missing their bus? Nothing. Nothing will be restrained. Car need to be fixed? Nothing. Uh, don't have a car? Nothing. Whatever they have imagined to do. If it's in your mind, if you, what was that first one we talked about? And the fourth dimension was, what was that? T-H-O-U-G-H-T. Oh. Let this mind that was in Christ Jesus be in you. Colossians. Mm -hmm. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Amen. Think on these things. Philippians. So here it is. Thought. Mm -hmm. Faith. Yes. If you can think it, have faith for it, mm -hmm. dream it, and then possess the power of the spoken word. 
Yes. Those are the catalysts for the fourth dimension. Yes. So here we go. G so God came down. Seven says, go to, let us go down and therefore confound mm -hmm. their language. Boo! It's like, well, duh, what happened? Woo! They don't know. It's like just, they just all of a sudden, the intellect that they had, the power that they were possessing, and, and the thought, and the faith, and the dreaming of it all, and then speaking it, it just got confounded, the knowledge. He confounded, he said right here, he confounded their language too. So they could not communicate. That's why, when I keep saying, say it, say it, say it, it's power in what you say. Yes, it is. Even about, do you agree? Yes, I agree. There's power Amen. in all the spoken word. Am I going to be educated in what I'm reaching for? Yes, because yes. I confessed it. Do I have a personal agreement with me? Yes. yes. You just have to agree. Even if but one person yes. in heaven. Now God makes it as my agreeer, even in heaven. But then besides her, I have a what greater cloud of what? Witnesses. Witnesses. Hey, shalom, shalom, shalom. That's on my side. Hallelujah. You have a greater cloud of witnesses that's on your side. Hallelujah. But you've got to speak it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Agree with the word of God. Even let nobody, you don't have nobody agree with you. God's word agrees with you. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. That's how the apostles did it. That's how the prophets did it in the Bible time. Hallelujah. And then he says here, so the Lord scattered them. He said, well, let him go back. He said, that they may not understand one another's speech. If you can understand what I'm saying, I can't understand what you're saying. We can't agree then. Hallelujah. We can't get nothing done there. Hallelujah. There's no power to possess there. Hallelujah. And then we are waiting on God, and we don't even know what God to call on, because we cannot talk. We cannot speak. I remember Dr. Dick said, oh, my God. Hallelujah. Glory. Any of you all ever been in a deep, deep dream and you were in warfare? Yes. You were fighting and you were trying to ask for help. And it looked like the only thing you could say was the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. But something mm -hmm. had your throat. Yes. That's the spirit of Python. Mm -hmm. She kept trying to say, Jim. Wake up out of the dream and say, Jim. Yeah. And she couldn't get it out. Then, and, and then finally I heard Mama. Just tussling in her bed. I left my bedroom, went over there by her, and, and, and I said, Mom, Mom. And she said, Oh, Sarah, she's up so glad you came. I couldn't wake up. That's a spirit. You got to bind that spirit. And then it was the spirit of Python because he didn't want her to have the spoken power of the spoken word. And then that's what you know, that is a spirit, which is like, that's a demon. And then because there's power, even while we sleep, there's power. Even our word. Hallelujah. With my grandmother, right here, yeah. in my turn it on motion. That's when she was young, but I know when she was old. Hey, Amen. I know I don't know her being young know, back then. But that's what Trisha said. Use that picture. Okay. So what happened was, turn it on motion. Hey, grandma, turn it on motion to say, hey, man, I, I use the power of the word. I don't have to touch what I'm going to say about her. But she used the power of the word to bind the devil. Amen. It'll, it'll, it'll probably circle back around. Amen. But anyway, let's go to the word. So it says, So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth, mm -hmm. and they left off to build the city. Yes. And that's how the town parts of Babylon got constructed and so forth and so on, all the cities that he built. The man was so intelligent, it ain't even funny. If you do the history on him, and sometimes you watch it on PBS mm -hmm. channel. You see the math, the science, all the exploits, amen. Because you man was just too, too, too wise. Too. He had he had worldly wisdom. I say that he had worldly wisdom, amen. Like Wall Street, amen. Therefore, is the name of it called Babel, because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth, and from thence did the Lord scatter them upon the face of the earth. So I don't want to encourage you to be like Nimrod, but rather to be like Jesus. How did I vote? Amen. And lastly, let's go over to, amen. How did they vote? Shot? James 4. Hallelujah. And we're going to start doing some decreeing and declaring in James 4. On what is the fourth dimension? The fourth dimension. That's where healings are performed. Miracles are happening. Even in this ministry, miracles are happening. Healings are being performed here. 
because we are agreeing on one accord. And here we have it in James 4 and 6. Glory to God. James 4 and 6 says, But he giveth more grace. Wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud. Uh, yeah. and that's what Satan was. And that's what Nimrod had, the same yeah. spirit. Yeah. But giveth grace unto the humble. We're the humble. Hallelujah. Yeah. So Lord, we thank you for more grace, God. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 To do exploits in your name. And then back over to Matthew the 13th. Hallelujah. We're almost done. Matthew 13. After this, just one more scripture. 13, 1 through 23. And this is our exemplar or the person that we want to follow. Matthew 13, okay. verses 1 through 23. I'll probably skip around there. It says, The same day went Jesus out of the house and sat by the seaside, and great multitudes were gathered together unto him, so that he, Matthew 13, uh huh, and 2, and so that he went into a ship and sat, and the whole multitude stood on the shore. And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sword went forth to sow. Amen. And when he had sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell on the stony on stony places where they had not much earth, and the forth and forth where forthwith they sprung up, because they had no deepness of earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched. And because they had no root, they withered away. Yes. Amen. But how do you know that we're not like that that withers away? Oh, wow. Amen. And some fell on thorns, yes. and the thorns sprung up and choked them. Mm -hmm. But others fell, other fell into good ground mm -hmm. and brought forth fruit. Yes. And some a hundredfold, yes. some sixtyfold, and some thirtyfold. Amen. Let's keep on down. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 14 verse. Let's go there for a minute. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which said, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and, and not perceive. For this people's heart is waxed growth, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should hear or see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. That was 15. 16. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which they see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. Um, go over. Let's go over to one more verse of scripture. And John, the 12th chapter. And this is the last scripture. I could go on, but I, I, don't, I, I think you got the gist of that. Let's go over to John 12. It's all about the seed. Can everybody shout the seed? The, the seed. seed. What you do now is all about the seed. And there's many types of seeds, not just financial, not just roses, poor seed in your garden. Everything you do now is a, is a planting of a seed. 12 or 24. And 24 verse, let's go there. It says here, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except the corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, mm -hmm. it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. Much fruit. And he that loveth his life shall lose it, and he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it, it keep it unto eternal life. So we want to die in Christ, if we die at all. Yes. And, and, and here's the thing. Whatever you do, remember you're, you're that seed that's being planted. And whatever you plant is going to bring forth much fruit. Yes. Jesus was the exemplar of that. How that when he came and died on the earth, we're the, represent, we're the reception of his dying in the ground. We're his offspring. Amen? We're Jesus' offspring. Yes. And then from that one seed that died yes. in the earth, it said it was, it shall, if it died, it shall bring forth what? Much, much fruit. fruit. We're part of that much fruit. Yes, Lord. Amen. And so we want to replicate ourselves. We want to multiply ourselves. Amen. In a good way. Not like Nimrod. Amen. We want to follow after Jesus in the fourth dimension. Yes, sir. And you see the lesson, even though they were, I mean, they was, you know, 
extreme differences. The only thing different is that one used it in a negative sense, where the other one, Jesus, used it in the positive sense. So we got to make it with our mind who we're going to serve, whether it be oh, God right. or the devil. Yes. Amen. We, want, we know we all want to serve the Lord. Amen. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, God, we come to you right now believing and walking and receiving in the fourth dimension. There are no limits on our prayers. There's no limits on our seeds that we're planting. There's no limits on our giving. We can receive any day, anyhow. Amen. If I give it to this person, don't mean necessarily I receive from that person that I gave, but we may receive it from another person or other people. So, Father, that we just believe and receive, we are taking the limits off. Yes, God. We are taking the limits off our healing. Yes, God. We're taking the limits off our receiving. Yes, God. We're taking the limits off what God has for us and prospering. Yes. We're taking the limits off on our journey that you have for us, God. That we can go wherever you sent us. Yes, that the doors are open. Yes, Blessing doors are open. We decree and declare the doors are open. Yes, because we are dwelling and, 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 uh, and pursuing God in the fourth dimension. Yes, God. All the miracles we are decreeing and declaring that are being performed in our life. Because we are ushering them into the realm yes, through the realm of the fourth dimension. Yes, yes. And then on our jobs, we're oh, prospering on our jobs. Shall he say, I believe, I receive. Yes, Lord, we are receiving and believing. Amen. The prophet on our job, the doors are open for blessing. Amen. In our businesses, the doors are open to believe and receive for bountiful blessings in our businesses. Because we, we serve God that a bountiful blessing. We believe and receive because we are operating in the fourth dimension where anything is possible. We do not decree doubt. We do not dec decree or declare lack because we have all our needs met, met because greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. We are above and not believe. We are first and not last. We are the head and not the tail. We're going in being a blessing. We're coming out being a blessing. We let hold on the blessing according to Joshua. I'm going to read that in the book of Joshua. In the book of Joshua, you should read it every night. Amen. Joshua 1. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This is Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers. Amen. Amen. I, I read this every night. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Joshua. Amen. One. Hallelujah. The first chapter. Beginning at the fifth verse. Yes. Hallelujah. It's one of my prayer scriptures. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee nor forsake thee. Yes. Be strong yes. and of a good courage. For unto this people shalt thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swore unto their fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous, yes. that thou mayest observe and do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest, what, prosper whithersoever thou goest. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, thy spoken word. Yes. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt, what, meditate therein, how? Day and night. That thou mayest observe and do all, to do according to all that is written therein. But then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and if thou is always about prosperity. Thou shalt make that way. That just means good things happening to you all the time. Mm -hmm. And then thou shalt have what? Good success. And that's what we have. Have not I commanded thee? Here's a encourager again. Be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid. Neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest. Hallelujah! Diamond. There's so many sides to it. Amen. I can go on and on on this blessing. 
I go on and on on his blessing. I know that was a blessing. Amen. Everybody yeah. agree? Yeah. And God's word is a blessing. Yeah. Hallelujah. And, he'll shout. and the word is full of blessing. He said that the, 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 the wise man hides himself when trouble is coming. Yeah. Hey, the devil shot. I took a test last wise week Thursday. Man. Came out of Milwaukee Area Technical College downtown. And right outside MDC is the 55 to form. And I saw military. There, somewhere in the fatigues, and one of them was in a military captain, like general suit, with bars on the side. And I'm like, why is he standing there looking like something about to jump off? I'm serious. We are living in the last day. So I say that to say this. Stay watching. Not for somebody going to do anything bad to you, but about the military. the devil steal it. God, thank you for protecting your people. God, keep it a watch over your, your chosen ones, your lambs, and your sheep. That not that we can want to touch them not, God. Only the choices, blessings shall be there. In Jesus' name, we have the choices, blessings, because we serve a choice, the choices, God. For great is our God. Hallelujah. Great to be praised. And I thank you, Father, God. angels are surrounding us on every corner, on everywhere path that we go. If you allow them to our feet, allow them to our pathway. Father, God, to bind all accidents, we bind all incidents on earth, and bound in heaven. And it is so in Jesus' mighty name. And we decree and declare healing. Let's point to Dr. Nolan. We decree and declare healing over her whole body. Let's all say it. We declare healing over her whole body. We declare healing over everybody's body in this place. Pain free. Pain free. We are pain free in Jesus' name. And I take my healing. I take my healing. Hallelujah.